guys today's tutorial is using D68 on PCD simulation that's how easy guys if you are using the G68 I made this simple drawing guys for our reference so um, we have 8 holes on PCD and diameter 30 and the PCD is 180 millimeter and we are going to use the 4000 speed and 1600 on feed rate let's begin background edit and go to tutorial folder we are going to make our program name P68 on PCD create then open guys and press this right sub key fix form and program start input in a block so now guys we have all our cancellation and necessary codes again fix form to start and we will use tool number 66 so we put 66 on our sequence tool 66 866 D66 and of course the tool name um, 16mm insert mill so it's a um, R390 insert alter and we will use 4000 spindle speed and go to fix form and select the sum G68 insert and we can start our position on Y plus so if that one is 180 that one is 90 because our datum is at the middle so we can change this one to 90 make this one x0 that one is 90 y90 x0 again y90 and maybe we can change this one to let's say 50 5000 again guys we are going to change our angle variable number 5 is the incremental move in rotation of our angle if that one is 360 one pole rotation and we are going to divide that one by 8 because that one is 8 holes divide 8 so we alter that one to 45 and this one guys we are going to alter again to 45 fix form again then tall end to make this one M30 and guys since we are going to use we are going to use sub program and we are going to heli mill the diameter of 8 holes to diameter 30 go to fix form guys and select our heli mill ID fix form again and the continuation of our heli mill ID and we are going to name it and 1000 then we are going to put our name sub from heli mill 
ID Hi guys And I will change the diameter of our bore This one is 30 And our feet is 1600 Take this one, say 2000, so that it will be a little bit quicker. And we are going to add the 0 g 90 Z50 so that it will go up before transferring to the next hole. Then M99. So now, guys, we, if you are going to use some. Um, to macro programming on your program you must use guys different variable number like this one so I've used 5 because on the other sub program I've used 1, 2, 3, 4 so that's why you need to use different one so you can use 5 5, 6 or any any number you can use it the good thing about using this 68 guys is you can just change your uh, angle let's say you have um, 12 360 divide 12 let's say you have 12 holes so you can just alter that one to 30 and this one to 30 also so now guys by using this bus by just altering this 30 and this 30 at the bottom you don't need to worry about changing your coordinates because your machine automatically will do 12 holes on on PCD all around your um, holes that's how easy to use this G68 when you do um, rotation and also guys if you are going to look the the meaning of G68 is coordinate rotation or three dimension coordinate conversion and guys if you are using G68 you must cancel it with G69 and after you use G68 if you can see coordinate rotation cancel so it is necessary that you are going to cancel it at the end just like the one I have on this I have G69 so guys variable number 5 equals 30 degrees and says while bracket variable number 5 is least equal to 360 degrees bracket do one again from my previous video I explained it to you that um, your machine will do it only one and whatever whatever position you have on the at the top of your variable number 5 it should be always the same position the one you have after the while function go down to g1 z plus 50 feed 5000 and you are going to call now your sub program which is the one at the bottom this one guys it will go to uh, this error G90 said 100 after reading your sub program before moving to the next hole let's say guys uh, because guys we start from plus 90 so it will jump to next hole on this hole before jumping on this hole it will go up to Z100 because you have 
um, 30 degrees on variable number 5 so mas the machine will read this um, our variable number 5 that's why it's it will go to another 30 degrees until until the the machine reads the the final move because uh, variable number 5 equals variable number 5 plus 30 once the machine reaches to the point that when the machine adds up its move to 30, 30, 30 up to 12, 12 rotation then it will read the end one meaning machine will think that okay I'm done I'm done with the, the command you told me to do and it will cancel by G69 your G68 will be cancelled G0, G90, Z100 M5 then you are going to cancel again your G41 since even though I have this G40 still I put those um, G40 but you can delete it if you want but I will just keep it G80 then M5 and G91 G28 H0 G28 H0 then M30 so guys that's how you just G68 if you have if you want if you are going to do a um, lots of holes on PCD it's very simple and later on guys we are going to run this one in simulation so that we can see if our program is going to work the way we want make sure we can um, we can see it in our graphics they are equal spaces when they rotate on PCD let's see guys if our program for G using G68 is going to work go to simulation um, make that one a little bit small that's how easy guys if you are using the G68 you are very sure that your holes are, are, are at the same spaces then you have your PCD on the right place If you want, if you want to change your your starting point, let's say you want on X, so you can make this one 90, and this one is zero, and also this one is 90, and this one is. Zero. You can make this one 90 Or It doesn't really matter Because this one is the, is just the positioning So you can make this one X0, Y0 As long as guys Your Start point Before this Macro programming while function you have the same uh, end after the macro function from the start and the end of your macro function as long as they are the same so you are good guys so we can try this one again and now we are going to run it in single block so that we can see that it will start at x90 As you can see guys, it start at 90, then to the holes, go back to the center of 90, and it will jump to the next hole. So that's how easy guys when you are using G68. Let's try this one guys based on our drawing. So 360 divide 8 holes 45 we change this one also to 45 
and then we run in simulation so make sure this one is 8 holes based on our drawing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so guys we have 8 holes so we can try another view start so that's how easy to change your program to number of number of holes and the size of your diameter if you want to make that one to 3 position only so 360 divide 3 so your angle is 120 and then you can also change this one to 120 reset simulation start so guys the machine is, is smart enough to calculate the remaining two holes at the same distances at the same radiuses from the center of your job so oh guys if you, also if you want to change your diameter you can easily change your diameter because you are using this macro programming let's say you want it 25 so you can just change it to 25 another one if you want your diameter to 50 so you can change it to 50 alter reset and simulation again then start so it's very easy to change your program guys if you are using this kind of programming I hope you you learn from this tutorial video and up thank you guys for watching this video if you like it please give us a thumbs up and if you are not yet a subscriber of this channel please do consider subscribing to Daddy Sam Piranha and please, please leave your comment down below that you subscribe and I will try my best to reply to you as soon as I can and if you have any suggestions how we can improve our channel please feel free to comment down below about your thoughts I read all your comments and a big shout out to all my subscribers and to those who are watching our videos especially to Ati Dimpol, Jaisel, Jomai, JJ, and Donna Bells. And a special thanks to Totoy Vivo Nation of Nang New Zealand for the support plus premiere that we have. Thank you guys for the full support. See you guys on my next video.